which we desire to be designated by the name of Jesus and to serve the Lord alone and the church, his spouse, under the Roman pontiff, the vicar of Christ on earth, should after a certain vow of perpetual chastity, poverty, and obedience, keep what follows in mind. He is a member of a society founded chiefly for this purpose, to strive especially for the defense and propagation of faith and for the progress of souls in Christian life and doctrine by means of public preaching, lectures, and any other ministration whatsoever of the word of God, and further by means of the spiritual exercises, the education of children and unlettered persons in Christianity and the spiritual consolation of Christ's faithful through hearing confessions and administering the other sacraments.
getting confused about who is who among the five taking powers, I want to introduce them to you and present them to the congregation. I will ask you their first names because their second names are very simple and I can't remember all of them. reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. O oh Lord, you have enticed me, and I was enticed. You have overpowered me, and have prevailed. I have become a laughing stock all day long, for everyone mocks me. For whenever I speak, I must cry out. I must shout violence and destruction. For the word of the Lord has become for me a reproach and derision all day long. If I say, I will not mention him again, or speak any more in his name, then within me there is something like a burning fire shut up in my bones. I am weary with holding it in, and I cannot. The word of the Lord. Test and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Thank you. 
second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Give no offense to Jews or to Greeks, or to the Church of God. Just as I try to please everyone in everything I do, not seeking my own advantage, but that of many, so that they may be saved, be imitators of me as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord.
Bienvenue. Discipleship. When the Lord calls us, when the Lord calls a man, calls a woman, he calls that person to come and die. God wants you to renounce all that you love more than Him. And yet, people, things in your life that you love more than the Lord? My dear people, things in your life that you value more than the Lord. So as you take these vows, you are declaring henceforth, you are declaring henceforth that nothing will come between you and God. God will have a primary place in your life before all else. You have to love God above all things, all things, and to love all things else in God. To love God above all things, and to love all in God. You, have to, you are declaring by your pronouncement of these vows 
that you are going to live a life of joy. J O one joy. J stands for Jesus. Jesus is going to be the first person in your life. The O stands for others. After Jesus, others. And the one, you, the last place. In the gospel, we are told that the large crowd followed Jesus. They were following Jesus for many reasons, different reasons. <clears throat> Some were seeking for healing miracles. Some were wanted to eat the bread of Jesus, food that Jesus would provide. Some wanted to find out who this man is. What is he up to? Some genuinely wanted to follow Jesus. As the man said, in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, I will follow you wherever you go. Some genuinely want to follow Jesus. And you, as you listen to this, to this gospel, what is your motive for wanting to follow Jesus? Why do you want to follow Jesus in this least society of Jesus? Why do you want to take this pathway to God? Society of Jesus is our pathway, which says to God, pathway to God. There are many pathways, but you choose to take the path of the society of Jesus as your pathway to God. So Jesus turned in the gospel to them and gave them a stern warning. Whoever does not carry his cross or a cross <clears throat> and follow me cannot be my disciple. You can imagine how surprised, the shock that the, the, the crowd had hearing these words. Cross? My disciple? Just by the way of the cross? <coughs> Are you shocked too hearing these words of Jesus? You ought to be. You ought to be shocked hearing these words of Jesus. Isn't it true that many of us today want to follow Jesus? But without the cross, without suffering, without pain, without rejection or inconvenience. Isn't it true that we want to follow Jesus without these things? <clears throat> the author of the Petition of Christ, Thomas Akempis, has this to say to those who love, <clears throat> who love and reject the cross of Jesus. He says, Jesus always has many who love his heavenly kingdom, but few who bear the cross. He has many who desire consolation, but few who care for trials. He finds many who share his table, but few take part in his fasting. All desire to be happy with him, but few wish to suffer anything for him. Many follow him to the breaking of bread, but few to the drinking of the cup of his passion. Many refer and celebrate his miracles, and but few approach the shame of the cross. Many love him and as long as they encounter no hardship. Many praise and bless him as long as they receive some comfort from him. <clears throat> so Jesus says to you today, you must carry your cross. What cross are you expected to carry as a religious? Each of you, each of the five of you here, who have his own peculiar cross. Your greatest cross, however, could come from different, from a place that you never expect, you least expect. And Jesus gives one example, one example of where your cross might come from. Your family. 
Yes, your family might be your greatest cross. As religious, one of the greatest challenges to our life often comes from family attachments. Our family can be a source of strength as well as hindrance or obstacle to our vocation. From my own personal experience, I know that one of my greatest challenge when I became a Jesuit was from my own family, particularly from my father, who had wanted me to carry on the family legacy and he wouldn't support my vocation. And it took so many years of prayer and conversation before it came around. So your family can make and break you. They will make demands of you, pulling you from all sides, even to the point you may want to renounce following the Lord as vow religious. Even to the point you may want to renounce following the Lord. After all, the other people who are serving God. I can go to heaven if I'm not a religious. Is that not what people say? <laughs> when you do say those things, something is going on. <laughs> because you have said you want to take this pathway to God. <laughs> or I can go to heaven. That's not the only way. But you are choosing the pathway to God today <clears throat> through the society of Jesus. So we can see why the Lord says to us today. But you must hate your father, mother, brothers, and sister, and family in order to be a true disciple. The Lord also says to you that you must calculate the cost, the risk involved in your decision tonight. When a person accepts a great undertaking which you are about to do, he needs to make an appraiser of the entire situation. He or she needs to put effort into removing obstacle. Obstacle. Are you willing to count the costs of following Jesus? Are you willing to consider the risk involved? Have you calculated the costs and risk in living as Jesus did? Poverty, chastity, and obedience. Thank God, Ignatius, our Father in faith, offers us a powerful truth called the examination of consciousness to help us now, now and then to evaluate on a daily basis how far we are faithfully following Jesus, following the Lord, the examination of consciousness, how far we are following the Lord. Please use it. Jesus says you must renounce and give up your possessions. You must give up your possessions. What are you being asked to renounce? As a vow religious, you vow to live your entire life henceforth no longer in the way you choose. You are no longer your own master from today no longer your own master. Of course, you did that before when you were baptized, but you renewed that today. You're no longer your own master. You have offered your entire life, your whole self, to the Lord. By pronouncing these vows, you are proclaiming that the Lord should take control of your life. You do not get to decide how the course of your life how your life will go. You do not have to decide now. But you want to follow the Lord's decision at every moment of your life. And so by your vow of obedience, <coughs> you do not only renounce your right to choose by obeying your superiors and submitting to their commands, but you are pledging to dedicate your freedom to God for His service and His greater honor and 
and glory. By a vow of poverty, you not only renounce your right to earthly goods, but you are choosing to be spiritually poor by acknowledging your own nothingness, emptiness before God, and completely depend on Him. By a vow of chastity, you are not only renouncing your right to sexual pleasure and earthly love, but you are committing yourself to embrace the perfection of Christ, to surrender and unite your whole being, body, and soul to Christ in spiritual love. In all of these signatures, Advise, each of you advises us in the spiritual sciences, advises you in the spiritual sciences to renounce your self-love, your selfish self-love, your selfish self-interest, and your selfish <coughs> self-will. But to do all this, you must realize that like the Lord himself, of yourself, you can do nothing. <clears throat> of yourself, you cannot carry the cross. You cannot renounce your possession or calculate the cost of the risk. Hence, the only way is to surrender yourself entirely to God's power to God's mercy and let the Lord take charge, take care of you, take care of everything. As we pray, Lord, <coughs> command what you will and give what you command. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. May the five to pronounce their vows now stand up.
My brothers, what do you desire? Father Rector, I ask to be admitted to the profession of Christ in the society of Jesus. My brothers, do you desire for the perfect following of Christ, the service of his church, to embrace chastity for the sake of God's kingdom, to live in voluntary poverty, and to offer the gift of obedience so as to find God in all things. I do desire it. The vows that you will take today involve giving your whole life to God. Do you, do you freely undertake this responsibility? I do, trusting in God's grace. As a Jesuit, you will be called to devote yourself to the service of faith and to the promotion of justice, whatever the need is greatest. Do you think yourself sufficient for such a task? I do, trusting in the help that comes from God. We bless God, the author of all good, who has inspired these desires in you. We willingly admit you, brothers, the profession in the sight of Jesus. May God, in his love, complete all the good things he has begun in you. Let us pray. Faithful God, we beg you to look upon your servants, who today, in the presence of this community, desire to follow your Son, Jesus Christ, more closely. By their profession of the evangelical councils, Grant that their manner of life may increase your glory and benefit the salvation of all people. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much, brothers. Now we continue with our prayer.
that our sacrifice may be pleasing and acceptable to God Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, your blessing and prayers we offer you as we celebrate the beginnings of religious profession and grant that the first fruits of your servants may be transformed by your grace into a plentiful harvest through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Give up your heart. We the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is a truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, He is unblemished with love, who sprang from the root of the virgin and declared the pure of heart blessed, teaching by His way of life the surpassing words of justice. He chose always to hold fast to what is pleasing to you and becoming obedient for our sake even until death. He willingly offered himself to you as a perfect and a fragrant, a fragrant sacrifice. He consecrated to a fuller service of your majesty those who for love of you leave all earthly things and promise the and promised they would find treasure in heaven. And so with the command of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we are glad.
let me give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, you graciously make holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Strengthen in their holy resolve, O Lord, these your servants, who today have bound themselves to you, to you perpetually in the sacred bonds of religious profession, and grant that they may show forth in your church the new and eternal life purchased for us by Christ's redemption. And listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you this evening in your passion, O merciful Father. Gather yourself, all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our sick brothers, sisters, parents, grandparents, friends, and companions, especially the relatives of our five brothers, we pray for comfort and healing, consolation. 
and to our departed brothers, sisters, parents, grandparents, friends and companions, especially of the five brothers, and to all who were pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your God. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Formed by divine teaching, we continue to remember what Jesus said in Matthew and Luke when we want to talk to God, presenting all our worries and joys to him. Let us join our voices as we pray. Our Father,
Behold, my sisters, my brothers, the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed and delivered that they who are invited to his supper. Lord, par le désir de te servir en présence de la Vierge Marie très sainte et de tous les saints. Je te fais vœu de pauvreté, chasteté et obéissance pour toujours dans la compagnie de Jésus. Et je promets d'entrer dans cette compagnie pour y vivre ma vie entière. Tout cela, c'est selon les constitutions de la compagnie de Jésus. Confiant à ta bonté sa limite, je te demande, par le sang de Jésus-Christ, d'agréer ce sacrifice. C'est toi qui m'as inspiré le désir de te l'offrir. Accorde-moi toutes tes grâces pour la partie. Dans la chapelle, on est à l'Oupé de Jésus-Christ University, à l'allée, le 5 octobre 2022. Jésus Christ, qui a appelé à être son compagnon, promise you that Since you have left all things to follow you, you shall receive a hundredfold and possess eternal life. Amen. Dieu. Éternel et Tout-Puissant, moi, Jordanie, Les Rochelles, mon impassie, tout indigne que je sois devant toi, mais comptant sur ta miséricorde et sur ta bonté infinie, et poussé par le désir de te servir en présence de la Vierge Marie, très sainte, et de tous les saints, je te fais vœu de pauvreté chasteté et obéissance pour toujours dans la compagnie de Jésus et je promets d'entrer dans cette compagnie pour y vivre ma vie entière. Tout cela selon les constitutions de la compagnie de Jésus. Confiant dans ta bonté sans limite, je te demande par le sang de Jésus-Christ d'agréer ce sacrifice c'est toi qui m'as inspiré le désir de te l'offrir. Accorde-moi toute grâce pour l'accomplir. Dans la chapelle, au Linem, à l'Opédie du Université, à Rare, le 5 octobre 2020. Jésus Christ, qui a appelé vous pour être son compagnon, promise vous que, since vous avez laissé toutes les choses pour vous suivre, You shall receive a hundredfold and possess eternal life. Almighty and eternal God, I, Solomon, Atubio Anaba. Though altogether most unworthy in your divine sight, yet relying on your infinite goodness and mercy, and moved with the desire of serving you, in the presence of the most holy Virgin Mary and your whole heavenly court, vow to your divine majesty, perpetual poverty, chastity, and obedience in the society of Jesus. And I promise to enter that same society in order to lead my entire life in it, understanding all things according to its constitutions. Therefore, I solemnly beg your immense goodness and clemency through the blood of Jesus Christ 
So they to receive this holy cause in an order of sweetness. And that just as you gave me the grace to desire and offer this, so you will also bestow on me abundant grace to fulfill it. In the chapel of the Holy Name, Arupa Joseph University, Harare, 5th October 2022. Jesus Christ has called you to be his companion, promises you that since he has left all things to follow him, he shall receive a hundredfold and possess eternal life. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Dieu éternel et tout puissant, moi, Pacifique, il a deux coudins, tout indigne que je sois devant toi, mais quant à sur ta miséricorde et sur ta bonté infinie, et poussé par le désir de te servir, en présence de la Vierge Marie très sainte et de tous les saints, je te fais vœu de pauvreté, chasteté et obéissance, pour toujours dans la compagnie de Jésus. Et je promets d'entrer dans cette compagnie pour y vivre ma vie ancienne. Tout cela, selon les constitutions de la compagnie de Jésus. Confiant dans ta bonté sans limite, je te demande, par le sang de Jésus-Christ, d'agréer ce sacrifice. C'est toi qui m'as inspiré le désir de te refaire. Accorde-moi toute grâce pour l'accomplir. Dans la chapelle Holiné, à Rupé Jesuit University, à l'arrêt le 5 octobre 2021. Jesus Christ, who has called you to be his companion, promises you that since you have left all things to follow him, you shall receive a hundredfold and possess eternal life. Amen. Dieu éternel et tout puissant, moi, Salomon à Vincent, tout indigne que je sois devant toi, me content sur ta miséricorde et sur ta bonté infinie, et poussé par le désir de te servir, en présence de la Vierge Marie très sainte et de tous les saints, je te fais vœu de pauvreté, chasteté et obéissance pour toujours dans la compagnie de Jésus. Et je promets d'entrer dans cette compagnie pour y vivre ma vie entière. Tout cela selon les constitutions de la compagnie de Jésus. Confiant dans ta bonté sans limite, je te demande par le sang de Jésus-Christ d'agréer ce sacrifice. C'est toi qui m'as inspiré le désir de te l'offrir. Accorde-moi toutes tes grâces pour la comprendre. Dans la chapelle, Paul Name. À Rupé Jesuit University, à l'année le 5 octobre 2022. Jesus Christ, who has called you to be his companion, promises you that since you have left all things to follow him, you shall receive a hundredfold and possess eternal life. Amen.
In these mysteries we have received, fill us with joy, O Lord, and grant that by their power these your servants may faithfully fulfill the duties of the religious life they have begun and may offer you willing service. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So to confirm what has just happened here among our five brothers, we shall now present them with a crucifix, the constitution of the side of Jesus and the Bible. Let us pray. <coughs> Let this Lord bless these crucifixes. By means of a cross you have rescued the world, and by your suffering you have conquered sin. May those who pray, bowing their heads in homage to their crucified Lord, find health and well-being for body and soul. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And Almighty God bless these crucifixes in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heaven, you receive this crucifix as a reminder of Christ's personal love for you. You're done? Receive this crucifix as a reminder of Christ's personal love for you. Solomon, receive this crucifix as a reminder of Christ's personal love for you. Pacific. Receive this crucifix as a reminder of Christ's love, personal love for you. Amen. Amen. Vincent, receive this crucifix as a, a reminder of Christ's personal love for you. Amen. The Constitution is so special. So. <laughs> of this family and show forth through your whole life what you have learned with care. You have done receive the constitution of this family and show forth through your whole life what you have learned with care. So on. Receive this constitution of this family and show forth through your whole life what you have learned with care. Pacific. Receive the constitutions of this family and show forth through your whole life what you have learned with care. Vincent, receive the constitution of this family and show forth through your whole life what you have learned with care. But when it comes to the word of God, we don't say yes. <laughs> Don't compromise. We make sure that you get them home so that they read your daily message. Those 15 minutes before mass. Heaven, receive the word of God in sacred scripture. May God's revelation be the light of your mind and inspiration of your will. You are done. Receive the word of God in sacred scripture. May God's revelation be the light of your mind and inspiration of your will. 
Solomon received the word of God in sacred scripture. May God's revelation be the light of your mind and inspiration of your will. Amen. Verse 6. Receive the word of God in sacred scripture. May God's revelation be the light of your mind and inspiration of your will. <coughs> and listen, receive the word of God in sacred scripture. May God's revelation be the light of your mind and inspiration of your will. Amen. And now, brothers and sisters, this is the time those who can pull net can pull net. Those who can tell them can tell them. Thank you, Lord, for the time.
invite uh, anyone who wants to give an announcement or entertain us with some speeches. <laughs> Growing up, I held that gratitude is expressed more solidly in these. However, today's occasions makes it impossible due to the numbers. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my brothers, let me express our gratitude in words. This day has always been a special day for some of our brothers and Providence has made us join them in remembering this. Father Henry Waska and this Mass who celebrate their birthday today. Thank you for allowing us to spread the word. Our gratitude goes to our parents and families in absentia and those following online for nurturing, supporting and presenting, or allowing us to present ourselves for this choice of life. <coughs> the provisional superiors of AOC, ANW, and regional superior of Rwanda Burundi, we are grateful for giving us the opportunity to be part of this new society of Jesus. <coughs> Merci beaucoup. <laughs> the Society of Jesus has a series of experiments that the Constitution stipulates for a young man to undertake while in the novitiate. We are forever grateful to the novice masters, Father Noel Wajike. Father Tamjo and Bernard Karibu, and their assistants for leading us through this experiment. And in them, we have discovered a glimpse of our two selves. We say thank you. <laughs> Learning from their experience. Of last year, he has become a good novice master. Thank you, Father Rector. <laughs> For all that you have done to make this day a reality and a memorable one, and more especially, for bearing the weight of Jesus Christ in the Blessed Sacrament. We equally thank the person and minister of the community. Words are powerful. We are grateful for those deep reflected words from Father Thomas Agoga, who is our homeless today. These words will forever be part of us. And we equally thank Father Lorraine, who throughout yesterday guided us in purifying ourselves so that we could present ourselves as <laughs>
Hence, she could not finish what she had on her mind. And so she has to do that today. We are grateful, Commissioner Tendai, for beautifying this chapel with assorted flowers. <laughs>
The Lord is with you. And when I forgot to say something that I was, the insight that I got, the inspiration I got was Solomon was talking. Um, I, I can't resist standing in front of the flowers and getting a photo. So after the blessing, the five will come and ask you to stand there and pause for photos. So all the photos will be begin to be. <laughs> <laughs> May the Almighty God bless us and grant us peace and love and good health. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Master is ended. Let us go in the peace and the love and the service of each other. Amen.